Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a week after I did the ghost pepper challenge and that was horrible. Never again. I'm pretty sure I killed some of my nerves doing that because now spicy foods do not affect me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I kind of like spicy foods. Not really for the taste, but, cut, but for the kick. And now the kick is gone. Anywho, today's activity. Prop rocks and soda. Washed down with whipped cream. Let's see if my stomach explodes. By the way, this is my lunch. And it's times like these where you just gotta think to yourself, where did my life go wrong? All right, I love this stuff. I don't mind eating it for lunch. My friends probably mind because it's slightly unhealthy. Slightly. I don't mind though. But before that, I just want to tell you guys a few stories. This is my experience while driving. And I thought of this while I was driving home from school today. Yeah, so, I forget how long ago it was, it was probably around, it was definitely more than a year ago. I don't know if it was my second or fourth, it was my second semester of college, probably. Yeah. I had the car because my dad was out of the country and I needed to drive myself to school. So, I was driving, I think I was driving home when this happened. Um, I was on the side roads because I do not m like to merge, so I can't really do the LIE very well. And, oh, for those of you who aren't in on Long Island, it stands for the Long Island Expressway. It's, um, it's a highway, a very major highway. So yeah, anyway, continuing. I was on the side roads and there is a turning lane off of the LIE. Like there are two of them and one, the, the more outside of one, you can you can turn on and then merge into one of the two lanes that just are straight from the side road. I was on the one right next to the outside outside lane that comes off the LIE and there's this huge truck that is coming off of the LIE like on the outside lane from the LIE and it tries to merge into my lane without looking, because if it had looked, it would have seen that I was there! Like seriously, I was here, the truck was here, and it, and if I hadn't reacted in time and was able to just switch lanes over, I probably would not be here right now because I'm pretty sure the truck would have hit me and I would have been killed. Fun times. That was a traumatic event. I did not like driving very much after that. Okay, another story. This was actually last week. I was driving and I was stopped at a red light right behind this white van and this old man comes out of it. He goes to this sign and like it's a signpost, it has top sign, and then underneath it, it has a sign, uh, underneath the top sign, it has a sign that, like, it's that, oh, we buy old video games kind of sign, and he grabs that sign, pulls it off, puts it in the back of his van, and then just gets back in his van as if nothing happened. I, I had no idea what to think about that. I actually did the same story in a Facebook post and all my friends were just like 
the hell? And what do you think of what are you supposed to think of something like that? Really? <sighs> People are crazy. And okay, so a couple of times I um had my girlfriend in the car with me, current one. The one that I talked about in my earlier videos, I broke up with her a while ago. So this is like my current girlfriend of like almost four months. And I'm driving in the I'm driving in my car with her. We're like coming from Northport and I almost miss a turn that my GPS is giving me to go home. And so I quickly try and make the turn. I skid and luckily I was able to just continue going um, without injuring either of the, us or damaging the car. But I was shaking. And I think she was more nervous than she led on because um, out of the corner of my eye I could kind of see her shaking a tiny bit and I could kind of hear um, when her breaths got a little short from nervous from nerves and it was just like uh, that was a bad idea I should have just kept on going and got rerouted but I wanted to get wanted to get back to our area as fast as I could we live in the same area but she lives in an apartment and I live in a house I live in a house like you know a little a little bit away from her we're like 10 minutes away from each other it's pretty cool that's not the point though a few nights ago it was raining and I was driving her home from a rest from like a restaurant that I took her to it wasn't really a restaurant it was like this Mediterranean place that you could sit sit at it was it's like a fast food place kind of but the food was kind of better than a fast food place. I know I don't really like Mediterranean food that much. Not the point. Um, the point is that it was raining and I was making a turn and I slid a tiny bit, but I was able to regain control and get us home safely. And now in my mind, I'm just like, I almost hurt the both of us two times I am not sure if it's safe for her to be in the car with me anymore. When I'm by myself, for some reason, I do not almost get into accidents like that. But for some reason, when she is in the car with me, stuff like that happens. I don't know what it is. Okay, um, let me see if I can think of another story. Um, I had Elton John CDs in the car and we would listen to them and it's pretty it's pretty fun you know like Elton John yay but you listen to the CDs like 10 times and you start to get tired of them so I switched them out for a Fall Out Boy CD apparently the difference is very noticeable because when driving with the Elton John CDs, I would not curse out loud. Um, but when driving with the Fall Out Boy CD in, I cursed out speed bumps. I'm not even... I cannot make this up. I... And it's just like, my girlfriend just said, like, we should put the Elton John CDs back in, because I was so much calmer. And with the Fall Out Boy CDs, I was just like, aggression aggression and it's like I didn't think music affected me that much when driving and my driving is not more aggressive because of it I myself am more aggressive my driving's the same my driving is pretty calm except when I skid then I'm just like then I just like tense up and it's like crap um but no I became aggressive and it's like, 
but I love Fall Out Boy so much, so I still have the CD, and I'm just trying to, like, figure out why I am just so affected by music like this. Okay, now that story time is over, let's do this. Mm. That's just a preset. I love Mountain Dew. One of the best sodas in the world. Okay. I heard that it's a tiny bit hard to swallow. This is um pumpkin patch orange flavored. Orange and green popping candy. I have two other flavors, watermelon and this bubblegum one that like turns into gum. I don't know. Pop Rocks has some interesting ideas. Cheers. Damn, I swallowed. Hang on. Not as hard to swallow as I thought it would be. Although I can still hear the crackling in my... Oh, that's because some of them didn't go down. <clears throat> I survived! I don't know, maybe it would be easier if I like washed down the Pop Rocks? Excuse me. <laughs> that was interesting. Because now I can't get the popping sound out of my ears. <sighs> well, that was a fail. It kind of sums up my whole life. <laughs> okay. As you can see, I'm not very good at coming up with ideas for my videos. So please leave a comment of what you would like to see in my videos. I will do it by God, get the popping sound out of my damn it. <clears throat> okay. Like, subscribe, leave a comment of what you want to see for the next video. I will see you next week. Yet again, Monday, schedule, Monday is not really a normal schedule. I don't expect these videos every Monday. It's just that Monday is the best time for me to do the videos, like, for the past few weeks. So, goodbye. I will see you next week. Uh, drive safe. If you take anything from my stories, just drive safe. Alright? Because... You may think that you're invincible in the car because you're surrounded by this two-ton steel cage. But think about that. You're in a two-ton steel cage! You can hurt people with that. Just be safe. Be safe. Be careful. And don't hit other drivers. Don't let other drivers hit you. Be safe. Bye-bye.